Got the target! Get on the vehicle! Get off! Spread out! Spread out! Hurry! Get out! Search for the enemy! Don't these Chinese fear death or something? He's defending the honor of his country with life. I'm totally freezing out, buddy. Remember this moment. We have not been conquered by the cold, but we have been defeated in the face of such an enemy. This damn guy immediately! Do you want to spend Christmas with him? Kill him now! Shoot him! Shoot him! Go, go, go!
General, we got Colonel McLean. Yes, McLean. General Almond. We got a major Chinese attack on our hands. With enemies we can't even count. Our intel was way off. God knows how these Chinese managed to avoid our double reconnaissance by air and ground. And, then, and now they're practically knocking on our front door. <laughs> Don't panic, Colonel. Even if they do come, they can't possibly compete with us with their poor military strength. Let's show them what we're made of. The polar bears never lost the battle. Did you guys hear that? The polar bears are in trouble. <laughs> Keep your honor as a polar bear soldier in mind. These Chinese cats aren't that tough. We got tanks and heavy artillery to blast them all away.
你干什么呢？没人吗？
牵制住了，我们根本过不下去。在南城的葡萄，都得给我啃碎了！是。
点着了，点火啊！快！走
Hail! Fall to the moth!
张起和澎湃的战士，都飞了。The Chinese soldiers are everywhere, and our heavy firepower ain't worth a damn. Yeah, well, I need to get back to Hakuriru. Our intelligence was all wrong. Colonel, we should counter back instead of running away like scared rabbits. Our tank unit was supposed to be here before dawn, but the last intel I got was that they were fighting those damn Chinese on 1142 and 1221 hills. Our heavy firepower is not enough to eliminate the Chinese troops. This is your mess now. I'm saying goodbye to this dog's dinner, and I wish you all the very best. These Chinese are not worth being opponents of the polar bears. <laughs> Colonel, our soldiers are freaking out. We should be the pride of the U.S. Army! And that is the exact reason I don't want to fight them. If you want to stay here and wait for your death, you're welcome. But I suggest you get back to your wife's farm and be a good farm's wife. Colonel, your ride is ready. Damn it, don't block my way. Who do you think you are? How dare you block my way? Sorry, sir. Get rid of that.
bastard! Such a damn coward!
Ultra. Get Washington on the phone. I need to talk to these politicians about the strategic movement towards the Yalu River. We can't let the 1st Marine Division end up like the Polar Bear Regiment. Yes, sir. This is the White House. Sir. My predictions were spot on. MacArthur and Ullman were too high on themselves. Without thinking, if the Chinese ambushed us on high ground in this terrible weather, cut off our lifeline, the whole 1st Marine Division would have been trapped right here. Luckily, I controlled the speed of advance, built a temporary airfield in Hagaruri, made sure that we had all our logistics in check, supplies replenished, and evacuated the wounded. And this saved the 1st Marine Division and prevented the total collapse of the entire 10 Corps like the polar bears were. And sir, I really do hope that you do listen to me. I suggested to Alman that we should concentrate our forces to take control of Hung Nam and Hung Ham while moving forward slowly in order not to disperse all of our forces. But he denied that. This proved to the key to success, to saving the first Marine. Sir, we are not retreating. Crushing the enemy is one of my goals as well. Therefore, we are not retreating, just attacking in different directions. Don't forget that. General Smith. We've received intelligence from the front line. President Truman commands your foresight and cool-head leadership. Whether it's General Almond or General MacArthur, including everyone in the White House, they all underestimated in the determination of the Chinese to join the war. But now we have to face reality. The polar bear of the 7th Infantry Division failed and we lost the huge advantage we had at the start of the war. Therefore, we cannot take the consequences of losing your first Marine Division. So, White House means that the first Marine Division should stop moving north right away, team up with troops in Hungaruri, and head south along the dam bridge to Hong Nam port in Hong Kong, that is all, immediately. Sir! 
deserve to be our enemies! Don't let them break you! Now pick up your guns and send them all to freaking hell! Yes, sir. Go! Where's our main force? They should arrive here tomorrow. The Chinese pursuit drained their time. Here, take a look at this. Stupid pen. Can't get any double mail. That's right. Give me the chow. Sure.
Where's the gunshot? Not from the north, but I think they're coming soon. Chinese on the south side. They're attacking us on the bridge. Masters! Tell the soldiers to hold it! Do not let them cross! Move your ass! What are you waiting for? Go now! Our opponents are very cunning. They won't give up that easily. Oh no, the Chinese are on the south side. They're attacking us on the bridge. Bastards! Tell the soldiers to hold it! Do not let them cross! Move your ass! What are you waiting for? Go now! Our opponents are very cunning. They won't give up that easily.
，帮你娶个大胖媳妇儿，再生俩大胖小子，你也享享福。你个拉倒吧你！<笑>你还没大房媳妇呢，你给我弄大房媳妇，你哪个弄大房媳妇去？咱七连打了这么多仗，牺牲了这么多战友，为了啥？就为了咱中国人，从今以后再也不受外国人欺负了。等解咱打完了，咱们的腰杆子咱硬了。对，就为了这个。
枪的主人平和，和马奶酒长大的青海人。行了，别打了，你能打过他吗？关你屁事！哎哎哎哎、你给我记住，枪口永远不能对着自己人。Guys, I will always remember their hateful little eyes. Wait. Capture them alive! I'm really curious about the fate sustaining them to chase us relentlessly without regard for their own lives. God damn it! Go!
No one can defeat me. God, why did you leave me with this damn curse? I'll never surrender. Even if it means to die. I'll be a disgrace to the entire U.S. Army. Am I really underestimating these Chinese soldiers? General Almond, we have not lost yet. Our industrial power alone can suffocate these Chinese. No, you don't get it. It's not just the industrial power, but the will of soldiers that decides the victory of a war. Look at Smith. What fought for us and secured a way for us. He became a national hero. Instead, we, fighting for honor, will become a joke.
General MacArthur, I'm leaving for Hanan Port, and I'm well aware that this will be the most shameful day of my military career. I will burn all the supplies left in Hanan Port. I joined the military before the century began. Witnessing many changes undergoing since I took the oath on the coaching field at West Point. My hopes and dreams have long faded. Although I don't want to concede defeat, and I must say that I don't want to meet these Chinese that frighten me on the battlefield ever again, I pray to God that I will never witness such a tragedy again. If I can see this Chinese commander in my lifetime, I will salute him, and they are respectable enemies. Understood, General. You heard that? <laughs> 